My name is Dennis Kerr. I'm 20 years old, and as of August 1st, I studied to become a riding master, the final title after six years of education. This education takes six years, two years at a time. After two years, you become riding school assistant. After four years, a trainer, and after six years, riding master. I have started my education here at Bones Riding Center or Hesterhaven's Riding Club by Ulrich Kerr, and I receive lessons from Ulrich and uh, Jim. I have had many considerations as to whether I should start as an apprentice or not. If I should choose to become a professional rider and hope to be able to make a living, or if I should get a diploma and in the end become an examinated riding master. The final job you get to do as a riding master variates a lot. Some choose to give lessons and not to ride so much. Some choose to try to live from selling their horses, buy horses, educate them with the aim of reselling. Others again make a living from riding other people's horses and breaking in young horses. Re-educate older horses for people. Uh, that is basically what a riding master does for a living. He rides and he gives lessons. During the first year as an apprentice, you go to school for six to seven weeks. And you bring a horse to the school. It takes place at Wilhelmsburg. The subjects taught are psychology, riding theory, to learn the different concepts, teaching theory. All in all subjects that can help you in your daily life at a riding school. You also study business economy so that you learn how to control and manage the economy of a riding school. And then we are evaluated by three examiners that are also riding masters themselves. They will uh, select and choose the ones they believe have the qualities and the skills to become a riding master at the end of the education. And after being selected you can continue your education to become a riding master. It is not many people that get access to the education every year. In my group of 40 people, we were seven that passed. It can also be very difficult to find an apprenticeship. I've been very lucky. I applied for one apprenticeship and got it. It is a tough education. It's many hours every day. Uh, we start out at seven o'clock in the morning. Then we have a break at midday for one hour or an hour and a half. But hereafter we continue until we have finished. Uh, we have lessons in the afternoon, group lessons or one-to-one -one lessons. And then we have to finish the riding and feed the horses for the night. But it varies a lot when we finish. Sometimes it's half past five, sometimes six o'clock, seven, eight, nine, perhaps ten o'clock. Depends a lot on the day. Some days everything goes wrong and you finish at 10 o'clock in the evening, so it is a long and hard education. But if this is what you want, you accept these days. I think it's necessary that you are 100% motivated. If not, and if you're not completely sure, it will be six very tough years. Uh, there is also the risk that after the first two years, when you are presented uh, before the examiners, that they judge that you are not completely ready for this. If they don't feel you are 100% motivated, they can tell you, hey, stop, you will take one more year and then you can come back again and try again. And then you have to work on your attitude. I think it is important that you have your heart with you if you want to do this education. Otherwise, it will become a long and tough time and six long years.